Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video, I'm just doing a little bit of a day in the life type video. Just going to take you guys along with me and just share what I'm doing today. Um, Indy does get spayed tomorrow, so this is also going to be a little bit of a spay preparation type video. I need to run to the pet store today and get her a new inflatable cone. I've already got her a bodysuit thing that I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then I also need to bathe her, brush her, and all that. She is a bit dirty and she's probably like not going to be able to get wet for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a bath at some point today. Right now, I am about to make Matt some lunch. He's at school today, and he, of course, forgot to pack his lunch, so that is on me. And then I'm going to take it to him, drop it off, and then go to the bank and also to the gym. I've got my workout outfit on. This is just a top from Muse Yoga, I think it's called. And then these are Amazon high-waisted shorts. Really love these. They're super comfortable. And yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. I'm gonna go to PetSmart in a little bit and I've already got dinner on. I'll tell you guys a little bit about what I'm cooking later, but if you enjoyed today's little day in the life vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. We're so close to 40K. And yeah, I'm going to grab everything I need for Matt's sandwich and go ahead and make it. So just cut to making that sandwich. I toasted his bread. I did this sliced buffalo chicken from Food Lawn and then pepper jack cheese and then just mayonnaise, oil, vinegar, and oregano. He's really random. He doesn't like lettuce or tomato really. So that's what he's getting. I'm going to grab a few snacks to go with it. Very unhealthy. Don't judge us. And then we're going to put all the dogs up and then head into town. made my husband the lunch of champions in a true value bag i'm going to go put these dogs up get what i need for the gym and then head his way all right guys i grabbed the money i need to take to the bank i've got my hat i always work out on a hat um i'm gonna fill my stanley up now so let me put you guys down i've got the stanley the really popular stanley and i think they're good but i don't think it's like what all the hypes that were like I'm not waiting online to get one but I got one because before it was like super popular like the it thing um don't get me wrong I like it I think it's cute but I don't think it's worth all the hype so I'm gonna get my water I like to put lime in my water I don't really care for just plain water I don't like the taste so I get this lime juice at the store and I put it in the water once again because I really don't like the taste of plain water it's not got any flavor so I just put it in stir it up and then shut my Stanley and then I'm good to go I'm gonna go get in the car now. All right, now that I've got my Stanley, my water, I'm gonna get my little lemon satchel. This is the one thing I can get behind the hype with, like the popularity. Once again, I got mine right before, like they got like super duper popular. So I was able to get my hands on one. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this is worth the hype um, as much as like people are making it out to be. Stanley, on the other hand, probably not. I'm trying to figure out how to grab literally everything and walk out the door. 
So I'm gonna meet you guys in the car. My hands are full. All right, guys, I'm in the car. I'm actually in a car that's not mine. My car is messed up and it's getting worked on. So my papa lent me this car. He works on cars for a living. So I'm in this Forerunner. So this Forerunner actually is having some problems. So we're just not having much luck in the car department lately, but I'm too cheap to buy a new car because I think that's a waste of money personally. So I will drive whatever as long as it gets me from point A to point B. Um, so I am headed now to Matt's school. I'm going to drop off his lunch, go to the bank, and then go get a workout in. Once I get done with my workout is when I will probably head to Statesville to grab the things I need for Indy Spay, which I'm pretty sure and there's a stupid fly in this car. I'm pretty sure the only thing I do need is a cone. I had a cone and one of the dogs was using it and somehow got it off and chewed it up. So love that for me. Um, and besides that, that might be all I do today. Once I get home, I'll probably show you guys what I've got cooking in the slow cooker. Maybe show you guys some of my fall decor that I've gotten lately. And yeah, that's kind of my plan. So I'll catch up with you guys once I get to that school. Hi, honey. There's your gourmet lunch that I showed them I made you. Thank you for making me food. Uh-huh. The lunch of champions. Lunch of champions. Dr. Pepper, Gushers, Chips, Sandwich. <laughs> My high school. Have <laughs> you. Have a good day. <laughs> You're so shy. <laughs> All right, as you just saw, I just dropped off lunch for Matt. He was being camera shy. And now I am headed to the bank to drop off some money, some cash that we have. I don't really like holding on to a bunch of cash. So I'm gonna go drop that off. And then once I do that, I'm gonna head back. So I gotta go like to the edge of town, basically, to the bank and then back into town to the Y. So that's kind of my plan after I work out for probably around 45 minutes. It shouldn't take me too long. I'm doing um, some sort of arms today. I think it's biceps, triceps, something like that today. Um, so normally arm days take me a lot, don't take me as long as um, like leg days and stuff like that. So I've been really into working out again lately and trying to get back in shape and it's been really good for my like mental health and just times well spent like it gives me energy that's what I was trying to say like really does help keep me like grounded give me energy and help me be more proactive during the day versus being lazy so yeah I'm loving working out again even though it's really hard sometimes to get to the gym so I'm gonna go to the bank and then I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit all right I'm at the gym and I gotta put my hair up before I go in. I always just do a slick back, a low pony in my hats. I feel like I'm getting somewhere with the goals. Normally I also do a like sweat resistant like silky hat but don't ask how I spilled coke on that so it's in the wash which I actually never end up starting so it's actually just sitting in the wash machine which is great so okay this is how I do my hair slip back hat whatever simple and easy I am doing let's look at my workout thing I'm doing biceps and triceps today so I've got the cable machine bicep curl incline hammer curls spider curls overhead dumbbell tricep extension overhead rope extension and rope push down so that's what I'm doing today shouldn't take too long it's what time is it 12 53 so we'll see what time I get out but I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done I'm clearly not gonna be filming in the gym that's definitely outside of my comfort zone so I'll see you guys when I'm done all right guys I just got back in the car from working out. 
I might not look it, but I am quite hot and sweaty. I figure out the air. And I did my home workout and then I ran slash walked for 20 minutes. The end I did like a little bit of a sprint, which is why I'm so out of breath right now. But I'm gonna go stop by my grandparents and then head to Statesville. And then when I'm in Statesville, I think I'm going to grab that and I might get Chipotle. But it's already freaking two o'clock now and I don't know, that would be a lot of food for a late lunch. I might try to get something else a little less, but I don't really know what, but I don't know. I'm really tired, so I can't really talk right now. I'll catch with you guys in a little bit though. I just made it to Statesville and I actually got Chick-fil-A. I got a spicy Southwest salad and a peach milkshake because those are going to go away soon and they're really good. I definitely got a peach at the bottom. But I did curbside thinking it would be quicker. It wasn't. I could have easily went through the drive-thru a lot quicker than I waited curbside not to mention they also forgot my fork so then I had to wait on a fork so Chick-fil-A do better but I'm going to eat my spicy southwest salad and then pet smarts right behind me and we're gonna go in get the cone and then head home the dogs have been up for quite a bit now so they're probably gonna be ready so I'll chat with you guys once I'm done eating headed into pet smart with my peach milkshake all right, I got these recovery calming chews and also the collar. You can't see it right now, but I got that. So I'm going to grab that. And then down here, they have some really cute bowls on sale. Like that's only $7 and this one is eight. And I really like that. So I think I'm going to grab one of those as well. And I really don't need it because I think they're really cute and they're on sale. All right, guys, I'm back in the car from PetSmart and I am going to go ahead and get back on the road and get home so I can let the dogs out and then <clears throat> excuse me once I get home I will do a little bit of a haul of what I got basically showed you guys but a new haul never hurt so I'll show you guys what I got when I get home and then catch up with you guys then all right guys I am home now just gonna show you what I got first I'll show you what's not related to indie spay at all but this really cute big water bowl they had it on sale for like eight bucks and i thought it was super duper cute it's got speckled it's got a wooden bottom and it's pretty big so it's going to replace the water bowl that we keep in the kitchen because this is a lot cuter i need to take off this it's not for use in microwave hand wash only so glad i fed that before i took that off so I'm gonna fill this up here in a second and have this replace the current water bowl we have. And then I got, if I saw in the video I took on my iPhone, I got these Recovery Aid Calming Reward Chews. Um, so I got these, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them because the vet might be giving me something like this. So this is gonna be like the last case scenario if I use this. So I just got these. I might not end up even using them, but I thought it'd be nice to have on hand. I also got the inflatable collar that I needed to have for her. And then also got these bully slices. I got these so when she is like put up for multiple hours a day or you know can't exercise this will give her something to chew on something to do um to kind of help pass the time and keep her chilled out and calm um so that's going to be the main goal 
over the next couple of days is to keep her as calm and as chill as possible. So yeah, that's all I got at Pet Bar. I'm gonna go put this up and then I'll show you guys the like little outfit thing that I got for her as well. All right guys, I got the new water bowl set up and filled up and I am going to take this stuff out to the dog room. Come on. Pause the music. All right, on top of everything today that I need to do, I also have to go pick up Briggs here in a little bit because I'm breeding Briggs right now to um, an outside females program or like another person's program that's pretty local to me so they're using Briggs as a stud which is exciting um, they had a successful tie on Sunday and then they're gonna tie again today and then Thursday as well so normally with live cover we do about two to three ties since they're local we're gonna do three so I gotta go do that later so I'll kind of show you guys Briggs once I get him I'm not going to show the breeding or anything because not my dog so I'm not gonna do that to them but I wanted to show you guys the recovery suit I got so I got it off Amazon I can leave it linked down below but so I've got this this shoes more shoes and I'm hoping that all this stuff will help me be super prepared for Indy's spay tomorrow we have to be there at 8 a.m. So it's going to be a really early day and she'll be there basically all day until like 5 o'clock tomorrow. So yeah, that is all that I have. So I am going to take some time to work on my computer and maybe edit some of this vlog that I have filmed already. And then I'll catch you with you guys probably once I have Briggs. I'm in the car. I've clearly got Briggsy boy. Briggs! Say hello! Briggs. He's so handsome. He's got his head out the window. He is a head out the window doodle. But hey, bud. Got him. He is just living life, enjoying it. But we're on our way home. The girl is going to be there as soon as we get there, so I'm going to breathe right away. Hopefully, everything will go smooth. And then I'm going to run Briggs right back and then hopefully get dinner done for me and that. So, yeah, busy afternoon, but well worth it. All right guys, I just got home and I need to finish dinner. I need to remove the chicken, add in cream cheese at half and half and cook for another 15 minutes. I'm making white chicken chili crock pot recipe. All right, I shredded the chicken. This is what it's looking like. So I'm gonna add the cream cheese. Fourth heavy cream. All right, so now I'm just going to put the lid back on and let this go for 15 minutes. I'm going to set a timer for Alexa. Set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. And then once it's done, I'll come back, show you guys the final product. And then after dinner, I'm going to brush Indy, maybe bather, and then in the swab. All right, this is the final product. White chicken chili soup. Put some sour cream in there. I'm gonna eat and talk to you guys later. All right guys, we just finished dinner. This vlog's probably super long by now, but Indy is in the shower. She knows the drill. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give her a bath. And then once I get done bathing her, I'll kind of come on here with her and end today's video. So I'm gonna get to it and catch up with you guys in a second. All right guys, Indy is done with her bath. I dried her body off for the most part and left her head and legs kind of damp because it was pretty difficult um, trying to dry her head. She's not a huge fan of drying her head. I did trim her beard a little bit too. So here she is all clean. Sit. Can you see it? Sweet girl and ready for her spay. So I'm really excited but nervous. I feel like we're closing a really big chapter here at Rosary Doodles as you guys know and I'm also nervous for her to go under the knife because she's never had surgery before. She's never even been under anesthetic before so it's a little scary and stressful but I know she's going to do 
just fine and then um i'm going to gotta have her there at like 8 a.m bright and early so i'm going to have her sleep in the bed with me and matt tonight which we don't normally do but she just had a bath and i'm gonna wake up and just take her before i let all the other dogs out so that's the plan you get to sleep with us are you excited she loves to sleep and cuddle say i'm a big cuddler and then for the next week or so she'll also be able to probably sleep with us and oh oh thank you for that i love being punched in the face for attention you're getting hair mouth too anywho for the next week or so she'll probably sleep in here so we can keep an eye on her but that is going to be the end of today's video i know i didn't really show much of the dogs and i just kind of showed a lot of me but honestly today was one of those days where the dogs were just kind of up a lot more than i generally like for them to be but some days are just like that i've got stuff i've got to get done and today was one of those days i know you guys are sad you probably didn't see as much of the dogs today as you normally typically do and want to but i hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below and i will catch you guys in the next video and you'll see indy get spayed well you won't see it but you'll see me take care of the recovery process and all that so i'll catch you guys in the next one bye say bye say bye mm -hmm. Ha <laughs>